Welcome. In front of me is a Realme 9i and today I'll show you a couple of tweaks and tricks you can do on this phone. So to get started, we're going to begin with the personalization tab under settings right here, which allows you to simply personalize your device to your liking. Now in here we have things like icon styles, which allows you to change the icon packs. If you have downloaded some from the Play Store, you can change them right here. You can also change the size of them and the name size or just completely remove the names if you don't want any of them. Uh, additionally, you have things like the, the little buttons right here, so you can change the shape of them. As you can see, you have different shapes and we can change also the colors of them. So there we go. Uh, oh, we need to press apply and you can see that it's changed. Additionally, you have also wallpaper and up a layout, so you can go into it. Now moving on to the next thing that I want to show is the simple dark mode, which is located under the display and brightness. You have the hard toggle right here, so light and dark, which will permanently enable one, the one that you choose. But underneath you have also auto switch. When once enabled, the device will switch automatically based on the time of day. So during the nighttime, it will actually switch to, night, uh, to the dark mode, giving you what I would consider best of both worlds. Additionally, you can also tap on the text uh, yourself and select it to be custom, which allows you to select the time that it will switch. Uh, so you have start and end time of dark mode as an example. So if that is something that you want to use, uh, I can enable it in here as well. Moving on to the next thing, which is the color uh, uh, screen color mode. And this is, I believe, also in the display and brightness, but under more. Yep, screen color mode. We have it set to vivid, uh, but if vivid is uh, a little bit too vivid for you, which sometimes uh, I do understand, you can switch it to uh, gentle. So it's supposedly a little bit more accurate uh, color scheme. So there we go. Might give you a little bit of a benefit of accuracy to colors, but like I mentioned, it is a little bit more toned down, which you can see by switching it back and forth between uh, these two. I personally prefer everything that is usually more toned down, so that's what I'm going to be sticking with. And moving straight on to next thing, it's going to be the display refresh rate, which additionally, or uh, not additionally, but it also can be found in the display and brightness somewhere in here. I think it was, yep, it was also under more. So we have screen refresh rate right over here, and we have it set to auto. Uh, honestly, uh, 90 is not such a huge uh, boost, so I would probably change it to hard 90 so it never switches to anything else uh, but if you want to prioritize battery life you can select it to be 60 uh, which will only run at 60 frames or you can have it auto which will uh, kind of switch uh, on the go uh, which one you should be using so 90 or 60 and what that means is that on auto when we're on a still page like this one where we're not moving anything it will i believe drop to 60 or maybe even lower but when you're starting to move the page it will then automatically shift back to 90 to give you this smoother animation of like scrolling up and down and just overall uh, smoothness of the usability. So that is something that you might want to change. But I will be sticking with just hard 90. And last thing that I wanted to show is the system navigation. Um, so gesture navigation to be more precise. Now, as you've seen, I've been using the buttons or uh, the virtual buttons for this entirety of the video but I personally do prefer um, gesture navigation, so that's what I'm going to be choosing. Now, gesture navigations are located under convenience tools, so you quickly find it. There we go. Convenience tools, navigation, and we have right here, swipe gestures from both sides. It automatically enables it. It doesn't give us any guide. Uh, it gives us this uh, four page animation right here on how we can navigate through the display. So we have swipe the bar left and right to kind of switch between applications. You can swipe up and hold to go to a recent applications. You can swipe up quickly to go home and you can swipe from either side to go back, which kind of shows this uh, semi-transparent uh, arrow show up right here. So it signifies if you let go, it will go back. So if you want to cancel it, you can actually uh, kind of go back and let it go. So there we go. Now that being said, this would conclude all the tweaks and the tricks that I want to share with you. And if you found this video helpful, don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and thanks for watching.